Jefferson County deputy is in critical condition and a suspect is dead after a shootout early this morning on Bethia Drive in the Mountain Home community. 7 News reporter Scotty K joins us live from the sheriff's office with the latest. Scotty. Diane, this is 35 year old Henderson County Deputy Ryan Hendricks, who was shot in the face when he responded to a reported shooting there on Bethia Drive. Now he is a veteran, a Marine veteran, has been with the Sheriff's Office for eight years, has two young children, and is engaged to be married within the next month. I spoke to folks who live and work near where this incident happened. They say they're lifting Deputy Hendricks up in prayer. I know that, that they are able to respond as, as quickly as they did. It's scary. It happens right, you know, this close, but um, it's good to know that, that they are able to respond as, as quickly as they did. Just before 3 a.m. Thursday morning, Jeremy Troy was dropping off a car at a rental car business when he heard gunshots. What he saw next was a victim of one of those gunshots, Henderson County Deputy 35-year-old Ryan Hendricks. I tell you, I'm, I'm struggling as I stand here in front of you. He had been hit, got himself in the car and said, I need help and got out of there. And then and as soon as he got out the main road, he stopped and said, I need help. And I could tell something was not right the way he was driving. Troy quickly ran to help the deputy. By the time I got there, there was already a, a fire truck and I believe an EMS had got there at the same time. So I just kind of got out of the way. Within five minutes, there must have been 100 cops here. I mean, it was it was it was crazy. According to the Henderson County Sheriff's Office, the shooting happened across the road from the car lot on Bethia Drive in the Mountain Home community. Investigators say there was a reported car break in and the 911 caller said they heard shots fired between the homeowner and the suspects. The suspect's car was found minutes later, and that's when shots were fired. Deputies fired back, killing the suspect, Robert Doss Jr. The Henderson County Sheriff's Office says Hendricks was critically injured and taken to the hospital. Prayers to him and his family. I know all the officers were in a real, I, I assumed he had not made it, but the way they were all acting, they were all in, in really, um, you know, they were, they were very concerned. I think he was well respected within the force the way it, way it sounded. The Sheriff's Office. Now, the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation is leading this case, and according to the sheriff's office, there is no threat to the public. However, they did arrest another person of interest uh, at a nearby local hotel in relation to this investigation. As far as the suspect goes, they say he has an extensive criminal history, and they believe he may be tied to other crimes that happened here in the area. As far as the deputy goes, he is facing life-threatening injuries and is still in the hospital, so we'll be keeping him and his family in our thoughts and prayers. We're live in Henderson County tonight. Scotty K7 News.